Hello and welcome to another Figma tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to create this analog clock, actually a working analog clock in Figma. It's actually not as hard as some people would say. Uh, uh, today I've learned how to like uh, make some make some changes to the rotation so that this is actually possible. So I've actually discovered, discovered a new hack that I'll share with you in this video. So if you wanna learn, just sit down, get a cup of coffee, and then let's get into today's video. All right. All right, so our project is just opened. We're gonna rename it. We're gonna call it Anna Log Clock. All right. All right, so next we're gonna insert a frame. We wanna make sure to insert iPhone 13 Pro Max. That will actually do. Then we can change the background of the entire environment a little bit. Let's ch give it something uh, light blue. about that it's just for design purposes right so into our frame we're gonna insert some ellipses it's that's gonna be our first ellipse doesn't need to be that big All right let's zoom in then we're gonna remove the fill but give it a stroke let's give it a stroke of um, 10 all right we can actually just give it some little more stroke let's increase that to 40 Tin. All right, that actually looks much better. We can actually remove the fill. We don't need it to have a fill. All right, so we can give it a, a color. I just love it being blue. All right, let's uh, reduce its size a little bit. All right, then let's just make sure to center it. Right, that actually looks good. Then we're gonna insert another ellipse. Actually, let's give the ellipse the same dimensions as this. I'm gonna give it 267 by 267. All right, just fit it to the top, then just make sure it's right below. Then we're gonna give it a darker color. something like that it's looking okay all right then we want to make sure there is some reflection so we're gonna duplicate this and then we're gonna give it a stroke let's give it a stroke of um, let's increase the stroke weight to 10 then let's remove the fill just want to make sure there is some kind of a reflection right below it will actually make sense so let's just reduce its size slightly all right let's try 245 all right then we're gonna give it some effect we're gonna give it some layer blur and we're gonna increase that to um, 10 right 10 will actually do all right then we can actually let's reduce that stroke size to six six will do and just make sure that uh, that that ellipse is actually right below the blue just make sure it's right below the blue all right right there that actually looks fine all right so let's uh let's give the inner some darker color slightly darker all right that actually looks okay all right so next for this blue before we do that, let's first work on the inside values. All right, so let's just type in. So I'm gonna design our clock. So I'm gonna type in some values. I'm gonna make use of my favorite font type, pop-ins. Then I'm gonna inc increase that size to um, 
let's increase that to 20. 20 is still slightly small. Let's try 30. Okay, that is fine. Give that a bold. All right. So something we're going to do to just make sure that everything actually is designed clearly, we're going to insert an ellipse within. Now we're going to give this ellipse uh, a stroke. I'm going to give it a white stroke. Let's increase the stroke size to three. Then let's remove its fill. Right, this will actually allow us to position our values perfectly. All right, so just make sure the 12 just touches the ellipse, and then just make sure that the 12 is actually centered. All right, that actually okay. Then we're gonna duplicate it. I do that by holding Alt. We're gonna change this value to six. Okay, so just make sure that the actual is the same straight line. Then we're gonna duplicate this again. All right, so I'm gonna place this right to the side. Just make sure it just touches the ellipse. All right, so this is gonna be a three. Just make sure it just touches that. All right, that's okay. Then I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna place it. Right there. Right, so. Right, so that actually, that actually looks okay. Right, so next we're gonna uh, draw the dots, this, those design dots. So for that, we're gonna make sure use of a straight line. Alright, so just make sure to draw a straight line. Long one. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna give it a stroke value of three. Actually, let's do five. All right, five or four. Actually, four is fine. Let's let's go with four. Then I'm gonna change the stroke color to red. <coughs> so this is actually gonna allow us to do the other designs. All right, so this is what to do. We're gonna rotate it. Just make sure actually the first value is at negative uh, ninety. So right now it starts from just start from zero so that's that's it when it's actually at zero then i'm gonna rotate it by 30 degrees just type in 30 then i'm gonna make use of the pen tool so just zoom in and uh i'm gonna draw that let's increase the weight to four All right then you can click done Increase its length slightly and change that to white. Actually, it looks okay. Then I'm gonna duplicate it by holding Alt, and there we go. We have a copy of that. All right, next we're gonna rotate this again. Rotate it by sixty degrees. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing. Just make sure you have both of these selected. Then click Ctrl D to duplicate them. And then we're just gonna flip them. Okay. So we rotate the copies. So just make sure to position this rightly. All right, that's actually looking okay. Right, so then we're gonna rotate this again, but by 120 degrees. Then I wanna make sure to select these two, click Ctrl D to duplicate them, then rotate. Okay, so just wanna make sure that they're actually on the red line. So let's reposition this. Okay, there we go. Then one last time, we're gonna rotate this by 150 degrees. I'm gonna duplicate this and that by clicking Ctrl D, then rotate them. Okay, so let's just correct this. Okay, all right, so they're actually in position, so we no longer need this. All right, there we go.
right there we go we no longer need this ellipse we should actually get rid of it let's click ctrl d right so there we go we have our clock design and uh we're almost there so next we're gonna start doing some designs so uh make use of the ellipse tool so we're gonna draw an ellipse we're gonna place it right at the center give it a white color right there we go so next we're gonna start by designing the second hand just make sure it's actually set to negative 90 so it's actually straight let's give it uh, the same light blue color we have here if it's actually visible so it's actually set to negative 90 and then we just want to make sure to position it until it just goes to the center right there we go move it to the right that's okay that will do then we're going to duplicate it i do that by clicking ctrl d but you can actually also hold alt then we're going to place a copy of it right below all right so Let's just position it until it actually touches. So I'm going to give the copy uh, a white color. Actually, not a white color. Let's give it a green. So we actually see the difference. All right. So what happens with Figma is uh, you can't actually rotate uh, different objects uh, properly the way you would actually want to, s to create this clock effect. So that means uh, we actually have to create two different objects and then we have to we have to um <coughs> we have to create two different objects and we have to group them and after grouping them we, that's how we can actually rotate them about their center okay that's how we actually create two of these so let's select both of them then right click and we're gonna group the selection so we're gonna call this second hand because this actually represents the seconds and when you do that you actually realize that when you try to rotate, it actually rotates about the center of the two, okay? And that's actually what we after. That's what we wanna do, okay? Now, f we don't want both them to be visible, so we're gonna hide the the other. We're gonna hide this by setting its stroke opacity to zero. Yeah, but it's actually still in the background so when we rotate it you can actually see that this actually rotates more like a second hand and that's actually what we want all right so uh there we go yeah but uh to make it look better we actually just gonna make this longer because the second hand actually slightly crosses that boundary okay but uh this should still work right that's actually looking okay so actually that would do mm, yeah that's actually looking fine all right so that's gonna be our second hand then now we're gonna work on another we're gonna create the minute hand uh, so we're gonna start everything about the center then we're gonna give this some more stroke weight we're gonna give it a stroke weight of uh, let's go with three stroke weight of three right then let's zoom in All right the rotation is set to negative 90 that's okay then we're gonna give it a white color All right then we want to make sure there is some difference so we're gonna change its cup shape we're gonna change its cup to round All right so that's how uh, the minute hands will actually look but uh, for prep editing let's first uh, make sure it's red in color and then uh, zoom in then I'm gonna create a copy of it I do that by clicking ctrl D then after clicking ctrl D just uh, drag the other piece 
until it's right below then just make sure they actually touch okay so we're gonna change the color of the other piece too let's let's keep it green let's maintain the green color for those that we're gonna remove the opacity of okay all right so uh we want to make sure both are selected then we're gonna group them also group the selection and then we're gonna call this me net okay then we're gonna remove the opacity of the green set that to zero it's actually looking okay so let's flip the minute hand and actually you can already see what's happening so just want to make sure that the minute is actually also below the white ellipse at the center all right that's actually looking fine now but then we're gonna set it back to white instead of red right so that's actually looking fine so lastly we're gonna work on the hour on the hour hand so this is going to be the smallest of them set this value to negative um, 90 so it's actually straight mm, we're going to give it a stroke weight of uh, let's make sure it's it's also set to three just like the minute hand but what happens is it's actually going to be slightly smaller shorter actually right all right so that's a good position let's just reduce the height slightly all right that's okay then also gonna change its cup to round okay let's first give it sorry give it a red all right then click ctrl d to duplicate it right let's give it copy a green color all right that's okay then we are gonna group them group selection I'm gonna call this our hand all right so we're gonna go to the our hand and make sure it's right below the ellipse sorry just make sure the actually is still grouped all right then i'm gonna hide the the green let's set that opacity to zero all right then i'm gonna change that our hand from red i'm gonna change its sorry go to where you have to the our hand change that to white also all right so we want to make sure our time is set to nine o'clock so we're gonna rotate this So we rotate the all our hand grouping at once. All right. That's set to nine o'clock. Sorry, this blue design has actually adjusted. All right, that's actually looking okay. All right, and there we go. We have our we have our clock. It can actually be animated now. But before animate, let's just make sure to type in the time right below. So our time is gonna start from 9 p.m. okay then we're gonna increase this value to 70 let's make sure it's centered zoom in we're gonna duplicate this change this text to p.m. then we're gonna reduce the size to um, 10 okay that actually feels too small let's go with 20 all right and then right below it we can actually just have some text that talks about there so let's go with 14 january 2022 okay then reduce this text size to 30 change that to regular just make sure it's also centered right 
that actually looks that's actually looking okay let's change this background to something slightly gray all right then one more thing this is just for design purposes we're gonna so where we have the where we have this blue stroke just make a duplicate of that then we're gonna make use of a plugin to create some uh, new morphism effect on it so a plugin i have installed called morph plugin let's just create some skeuomorphism effect all right as you can see there is actually gonna be some kind of effect like that all right we're gonna apply it you actually realize it actually creates a duplicate of it get rid of the other you can actually see the difference this looks more 3d like so we can actually replace it with our with our original stroke so delete this let's just make sure that the inner shadow is positioned rightly right then we're gonna place this right on top Right, that's actually looking okay looks more realistic all right then we're gonna duplicate this but before we do that let's just make sure everything is set to nine o'clock okay so we're gonna rotate the minute groups sorry just make sure to select the entire minute group and then rotate it until it's pointing up set the value to zero okay um so i want to make sure the second hand is actually right above the minute hand that will actually look better that way okay all right so that's that's actually looking okay so we're gonna start with nine o'clock then that's gonna be our starting time so click ctrl d we're gonna duplicate this first frame right so right in our second frame we're gonna so just close the first right now second frame we're going to make some changes to the second hand okay so i want to make sure it actually rotates by 15 seconds if it, that's the value negative 90. okay so that's 15 seconds that i've moved then duplicate that again ctrl d so in our next frame, we're gonna go to the second hand again. The one to rotate it to, um, to 30 seconds, 30 seconds that I would have moved. Set that value to negative 180. Okay, looking good. Duplicate that again. Then we're gonna set the rotation value again we're gonna change that to 45 seconds which is actually 90 degrees okay that looks fine right so that's actually gonna be our last value so for now we're gonna demonstrate this way and then it will just go on in a loop okay uh, but for for this example we should just keep it at nine o'clock so we're gonna do some prototyping now so in prototype mode just drag this to that i want to make sure that after delay of um just want to make sure there is actually no delay but the list value is one millisecond should just keep it that way it will smart animate to the next frame it will smart animate to this next frame and uh, that should actually it should actually take 15 seconds which is actually the same as 15,000 ms but as you can see when i try to type in 15,000 you actually realize the maximum value is actually always 10,000. So we should just keep it that way. It may not be exactly 15 seconds, but after all, the design actually works. That's what we'll just be after. So after a delay of one millisecond, let's just keep it 10,000, okay? Same thing here. After a delay of one millisecond, set that to 10,000. Okay, then lastly, we want to make sure that when it actually reaches this, this frame, it will actually smart animate to that, okay? And that will actually, actually also take 10,000 milliseconds. That's actually after a delay of one millisecond. All right, so there we go. 
So let's test it. Clicking play. So we have our app right here. As you can see, the clock animation is actually working. You can actually see the second hand moving. And that's actually what we wanted to do. And that's how I'd actually do it in Figma. If you like this video, I encourage you to just tell me below in the comments. And then uh, just feel free to leave a like on the video. It actually helps promote it. And then if you're new to this channel, I encourage you to join in the community by subscribing. And then make sure to hit the notification bell so that you get updates every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.